Now let's go for a complex artificial neural network model. So far we saw a simple artificial neural network model. Now we are going to go for the complex model. So let me draw again artificial neural network model here. This is my input layer, this is the hidden layer, and here is the output layer. It is a bit complex artificial neural network model compared to the previous. Now look at here, in this artificial neural network model, this is my input layer. These are the hidden layers, and this is the output layer. In the input layer, I have two cells, which means that I have two inputs. In the hidden layers, I have three hidden layers, three hidden layers with four neurons in each layer. Hidden layer 1, hidden layer 2, and hidden layer 3. In the output layer, I have two cells, which means that I have two outputs at this time. So in this model, we have multiple inputs with the multiple hidden layers and also with the multiple outputs. So it is a bit complex artificial neural network model. Now look at here, as I told you last time, that each and every single cell must be connected with the other next cell in this model. When you look to this cell, in front of this cell, we have four, four cells in this first hidden layer. So you have to connect all the four, all the four cells with the first one, and then all the four cells with the second one. Similarly, when you go ahead from this cell, in front of this, we have again four cells in the second hidden layer. So you have to connect this cell with all the four cells here in the second hidden layer. Similarly, when you go to the second cell, in front of second cell, we have again four cells. So you have to connect this cell with all the four cells in the second hidden layer. In front of this, we have again four cells. You have to connect all the four cells with this hidden layer. Here, 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 and here. Similarly, you have to connect this cell with all the four cells in this hidden layer. Now let's jump to the second hidden layer. In the second hidden layer, in front of this first cell, we have again four cells in the third hidden layer. So you have to connect this cell with all the four cells in the third hidden layer, and these cells again with all the four cells, this one with all the four cells, the fourth one is with all the four cells. Then moving ahead to the output layer. In front of this cell, again, we have two cells, which are two outputs. So you have to connect this cell with both of the cells, here and here, and then again this cell with both of the cells, this one with both of the cells, the fourth one with both of the cells. So just keep in your mind that you have to connect each and every single cell with the next cells in the layer. It may be hidden layer, it may be output layer, but make sure you have to connect everything. So when you look to this connection compared to the previous simple artificial neural network model, it's a bit complex and confused, and that's the reason we call it complex artificial neural network model. Well, let me go for another complex artificial neural network model. It is a bit more complex compared to the previous one. So I need to connect each and every single cell with the other next cell in this model. Here is my input layer, this is my hidden layer, and this is the output layer. Again, it is a complex artificial neural network model. This time we have multiple inputs with a single hidden layer and with the multiple outputs. In the input layer, we have four cells, which means that I have four inputs. I have a single hidden layer. In this hidden layer, I have total seven cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the output layer, I have three outputs. So in this model, I have four inputs with a single hidden layer and also with the three outputs. We know that we have to connect all these cells with the next cells here. So in front of this cell, we have total four cells in this hidden layer. So we have to connect this cell with all the four cells here. Here, here, and then here, with the purple one, with the brown one, with the green one, with the yellow one, with the red one, with the blue one, with the white one. So I have connected this cell with all the four cells in the hidden layer. Similarly, you have to connect this cell with all the seven cells in this hidden layer. Again, the third one with all the seven cells, and the fourth one with all the seven cells. Now, moving ahead from the hidden layer, let's go for the output layer. In the output layer, we have three cells. So you have to connect each and every single cell of this hidden layer with all the three, with all the three cells in the output layer. So first connect this one with all the three outputs, here, and then here, and then here. 
similarly this one with all the three outputs the green one with all the three outputs and then the yellow one here and then the red one and then the blue one and then the white one you have to follow exactly the same procedure what we saw so far in the previous artificial neural network model connect a cell with all the cells in the next layer so again it is a complex model we may have more complex models with multiple inputs with multiple hidden layers here we may have five hidden layers we may have six hidden layers we may have 10 hidden layers it depends what kind of neural network structure you want and similarly we may have multiple outputs like 5 or 10 15 20 it depends so there was a small demo for the artificial neural network we saw the definition we saw different NN models with different inputs hidden layer and output layers I hope it is clear now